The Deadlock visualizations in Century One and Plan Explorer have always provided significantly more information than SQL Server Management Studio, but being the company that we are, we weren't quite satisfied. I'll be going over the changes during this video, and Aaron Bertrand, Plan Explorer Product Manager, covered these features in his blog here. In Century One version 18.3 and Plan Explorer version 18.4, We've made it easier to read the deadlock graphs as well as added additional functionality. You'll notice that each node is contained in a horizontal rectangle and the format is easier to read. We also lay them out in a circular format by default. The next thing to point out is the playback functionality. We've always indicated the order in which the locks were taken, and that works well if there are a few steps but far less easy in a more complex deadlock scenario. You have the option of playing the entire deadlock, going step by step, either forward or backward, and then moving from any step to the beginning or end of the deadlock. You can also indicate the speed at which you would like it to play back. As you're playing back the deadlock, you'll notice that the owner locks have solid black lines and the waiter locks have dashed tan lines. You can also get this information via a tooltip if you hover over any of the lines. Within the playback area, you also have the option to zoom and auto fit. For the next portion, I'm going to open a more complex deadlock. As we've done with execution plans, you have multiple layout options. Circular is the default and fairly similar to what we did in the previous version. Force directed is a layout that attempts to be more aesthetically pleasing, with most of the nodes equally far away from the center and fewer crossing lines. You can actually see here that a number of processes are waiting on this particular page lock. The final layout style is a layered digraph that lays out the graph in a more top to bottom and left to right format. These all provide different ways to view a deadlock graph, but the most impactful change that we've made for more complex deadlocks is the optimized layout checkbox. In many complex deadlocks, there are waiters that are not contributing to the deadlock, but are captured as part of our collection. For those waiters that we're able to detect, Optimize layout will remove them so that you can more clearly see those nodes that are contributing to the deadlock. As we move through the layouts again, you can see that it's much more clear and troubleshooting becomes easier. Here at Century One, we want to make your jobs as data professionals easier. This optimized visualization for deadlock graphs is just one way we do that. If you'd like more information or would like to try Century One, please visit century1.com and request a trial. Thanks for your time.